As I've already mentioned before, AI or artificial intelligence is the new buzzword in the world of IT. And extremely popular. As a matter of fact, most if not all vendors want to integrate or incorporate AI with their technology. And it's not just vendor integrating AI to their products and solutions. No, 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 no. Even in IT training industry. So there is this new CompTIA certification. It's called SEC AI Plus. Is it a cybersecurity or an AI certification? Or maybe even both? So in this video, we will look on the details of this exam. And we would like to know if this certification is worth taking it. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location like nice video Dean from Myanmar, New Zealand, Austria. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city like from Sao Paulo, Dallas, Riyadh, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. I'm here now in CompTIA SEC AI Plus certification page. And uh, yes, these are the details that we are looking for. So let's dive in. CompTIA is looking for qualified individuals to help develop a brand new cybersecurity related certification by participating in a beta exam. Input from cybersecurity professionals working in the field is crucial to our ability to develop relevant and up-to-date exam content, validating the knowledge and skills, etc. So uh, let's look at the qualification or how to qualify to take the beta exam. Um, so pass the beta exam with the exam code. You will earn the new CompTIA SEC AI certification at no cost. And please take note, exam result will not be available until the new SEC AI Plus exam that will be launched in spring of 2026. So we still have like a year, um, no, maybe less than a year um, for, for this new exam to be available in public. Uh, those with total three to four years of ID experience with two years in cybersecurity roles and with knowledge and practical experience with AI and AI enables cybersecurity technologies. Um, so here are the job roles include cybersecurity administrator, analyst, architect, engineer, special specialist, excuse me, and penetration tester. Now to find out that you qualify, we need to submit this assessment questions or uh, we need to fill in these assessment questions. You must qualify and take the bed exam by October 17. And to receive an incentive, the beta exam period ends on October 31. So uh, let's click these. All right, so this is the assessment. And uh, it also tells us here to download the draft exam objective. Click here. So this is the course objective or the exam objective. L let's look at this first because I'm curious what are the coverage of the exam. All right, so four domains. Basic AI concepts, 17%. Securing AI systems, 40%. AI assisted security, 24%. And AI governance, risk, and compliance, basically AI GRC is 19%. So if you're going to look at it, the majority or the highest percentage would be securing AI systems. And take note, this is just a draft. This can be changed over time. So the first domain is basic AI concept related to cybersecurity. So it covers the type of AIs, model training techniques, prompt engineering, explain the importance of data security in relation to AI, data processing, data types, watermarking, explain the importance of security through the life cycle of AI. All right, so pretty basic. Uh, the second domain, secure AI system. Given a scenario, use AI threat modeling resources. So this is more of a security because we're talking about OWASP now. We're talking about MITRE. We're talking about CVEs now. But these are all AI, excuse me, security, uh, general security concept with AI th threat modeling resources. What else? Given set of requirements, implement security controls for AI systems. So model controls, gateway controls, guard trail. Okay. So basically these are just security scenarios for AI systems. So it's just general security and then you associate AI systems. That's how I see it. But you know, here's the thing. 
m not all of these are really AI. Some of these are just automation. For example, implementing monitoring and auditing for AI system. Do you think the monitoring, the sanitation, the log, um, the the auditing, do you think these are really AI enabled system? Obviously not. Most of these are just automation. Okay, how about this? Analyze the evidence of an attack and suggest compensation controls for AI system. All of these attacks, they are not all related to AI. Again, more of automation. But I, I, I really doubt if it if it's AI related. Okay. The main number three, AI assisted security. Given a scenario, use AI enabled tools to facilitate security tasks. Like the others, I believe these are just a little a little more advanced tools. Okay. Browser plugins, chatbots, personal assistants. Sure, some are maybe machine learning, but you'd have to take note, not all machine learning are AI based. Use cases, signature matching, vulnerability analysis, analysis, excuse me, pattern recognition. Some of these are ba basic automation that we've seen already in the past. Maybe it already exists five, 10 years ago. Explain how AI enables or enhance attack vectors. Again, some of these may be AI, some of these are just advanced or automated. Okay, and uh, if I go down to the last domain, AI GRC. Um, so these are just your typical GRC, but now more related to AI, like AI architect, AI security architect, AI auditor. Um, explain risk associated with AI, responsible AI. Um, uh, basically, here's what I'm thinking. It's like security plus, but they add AI and automation and a little more intelligence into the cybersecurity or many different cybersecurity aspects. All right. Anyway, so th this is the coverage of the SEC AI Plus CYO001, which is version one. All right. Let's look at the assessment. I'm going to click next. Okay. We should be following best describes your job role or function. So I'm more of an architect. Um, years of experience. I would say more than 10 years. Are you above the age of 18 years old? Yes. I'm going to click next. Oh, <laughs> it says, thank you for your taking your time. We're looking for a slightly different target audience at this time. So yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't overdo, not overdo. Don't, um, select the highest years of experience. All right, let's do that again. I selected this and uh, there's no available option if you select the 10 years or more. Let's select, uh, let's say four to five years. There you go. If it's four to five years, you have now another option here. Please rate your level of practical experience you have with AI enabled security tools. I would say just competent. Are you above the age of 18 years old? Yes, I'm gonna click it next. All right, are you interested? Yes, I acknowledge and agree. And uh, let's fill this information. All right, almost done. Uh, there. Actually, let's just say prefer not to provide. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just provide my LinkedIn page URL. I'm going to click submit. There you go. It says, thank you for completing our form. Your response is very important to us. I'll be notified three to four business days with detailed instructions on how to register. All right. And uh, I think that's it. We're done. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to take this beta exam. Sec AI. So, what do you think? Is this certification something that you would like to pursue? Here's my personal opinion. It's too early to tell. Yes, this certification is still not available yet. It's still in beta version. But here are some of the facts. If it's a security certification or cybersecurity certification, and take note, we have two types. We have vendor neutral and we have vendor specific cybersecurity certifications. 
Vendor neutral cybersecurity certs are okay. As a matter of fact, there are various really good vendor neutral cybersecurity certifications out there, like CompTIA Security Plus, CISA by ISACA, CISSP, CCSP, etc. But for AI, this is like cloud and networking, you know? Better to go for vendor training and or vendor certifications. In short, for AI, it's better to have vendor knowledge. And we can start with cloud giants since all three are investing heavily in AI. And I'm talking about AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Otherwise, AI vendor training and exam materials doesn't go deep. More of just concepts. No hands-on and less real-world scenarios. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.